Hi everybody, BJ Grieve with the Town of Southern Pines Planning Department. People contact our office a lot asking about the construction projects taking place all over town. There are actually 11 commercial construction projects taking place right now at the beginning of March. So we thought we would use some drone footage and we would piece it all together in a quick video explaining what each project is and where it is. Hope you like it. Our first stop is near where Midland Road crosses Highway 1 at the intersection of Yadkin Road and Trimble Plant Road. Brad and Jessica Holling are building a whiskey distillery along with barrel storage. Those buildings are going to be called Rick Houses. If you're interested in this project, you can follow progress on multiple different social media platforms. Moving north along Central Drive, about halfway to the airport, we have the continued redevelopment of the old Southern Pines Waterworks building. The developer of this project is adding an office building onto the back of the historic brick building. They're also adding another building towards the back of the site that the town has been told will have a recreational use in it. Now we move up to the north end of town, near the roundabout by the airport. Right behind the current Ace Hardware, you'll see a new Ace Hardware under construction. According to plans reviewed by the town, the new Ace Hardware will be about twice the size of the existing one. There's also a couple of commercial lots closer to Airport Road, but the town, we haven't seen any site plans for those yet. Oh, and the town doesn't know what's going in the existing Ace Hardware building after the move, but we get asked that question a lot. Now let's go from the north side of town and head south to what is really the center of new commercial development in Southern Pines, the Morganton Road Corridor. We'll go ahead and start on the north side of Morganton Road. First up, between the Legends Apartment Complex and Southern Pines Elementary is the Lux Apartments. The Lux Apartments will have 144 new units, and it's sort of like a second phase of Legends because the driveways and the parking areas will be connected. Across the street from the Lux Apartments are two new medical buildings right next to each other. The building that is right on the corner of Brucewood and Carlisle by the entrance to Legends Apartments is a new office building for Sand Hills Pediatrics. Next to Sand Hills Pediatrics, a little up the hill towards Southern Pines Elementary, Pinehurst Surgical is building a third medical building that the town has been told will have some medical providers that are in addition to Pinehurst Surgical services. Now we jump over to two properties under construction in front of the Lowe's Grocery Store on the south side of Morganton Road. The new building closest to Bruce Wood is a new commercial shell building that, according to plans reviewed by the town, will have three tenants, a private mail center, a restaurant, and a retailer. The other building at the corner of Morganton Road and the road that comes down into the development, which is called Old Morganton Road, you didn't know it was called Old Morganton Road, did you? is another commercial shell building that will have two tenants, a retailer, and a dentist's office. Now we move over to the project that is generating the most buzz around town, the new Target site. This massive cleared area is being prepared for a new road that will connect Morganton Road on the north and 15501 on the south. Target, Dix, Golf Galaxy, and a few other retailers will occupy the south end of the site, closest to Kickback Jacks. And then, right next to the soccer fields, there will be a new apartment complex with about 260 units. Fun fact, this project is moving about 430,000 cubic yards of dirt, which according to our town engineer is equivalent to the volume of over 6,000 backyard swimming pools. Just down 15501 towards Aberdeen on the site of the old Golden Corral, Chick-fil-A is building a new location. The building itself will be a bit bigger than the old one near Kickback Jacks, but the drive through is really changing with stacking space for 47 cars. Just to give you an idea of scale, a lot of other projects, the minimum requirement for stacking space is nine cars for a drive through so 47 is pretty big. Finally, we finish up right downtown behind the old Wells Fargo Bank off Broad Street. The clearing of this site had a few folks contacting our office with questions. Locally owned Ascot Corporation is developing 20 more townhome units right across West Wisconsin from the original Brownstones on Bennett Project. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in any of these projects specifically, you can feel free to contact the planning office and we'll answer any questions. Otherwise, if you're interested in growth and development around Southern Pines in general, you can go to the town's website and there's a link to find out ways you can participate in the writing of our new comprehensive long range plan. Thanks again.